So this is a really interesting topic and it sort of gets into something I wanted to discuss, which is the theoretical advantages of Wayland. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have this experience of, oh, well, something worked tolerably well on X11. And then I moved to Wayland and it works terribly. Oh my gosh, I hate it, it's awful. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that Wayland has a higher ceiling for how good things can be. So you're not stuck with sort of working but mediocre forever. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna use an example of um, Windows being able to save their own positions because this is something I'm very familiar with. I've done development work on this on KDE's side. So um, on X11, Windows are allowed to determine where they want to go. Yeah. Um, and the compositor basically can't do anything mm -hmm. about it in an organized way. And so what this means is that you, the user, have a very fragmented experience of mm -hmm. how Windows get their position saved. If the app itself offers the functionality of saving its position, then it does that. If the app doesn't offer that functionality, and many don't, then you don't. And so when you, the user, open an app, the place where it gets opened is random. Like if you're a technical expert, like you figure it out, right? You learn the pattern, like, oh, well, this app is going to save its position. It's going to go there. This app doesn't save its position. So it's going to get placed by the window placement mode. But like, this is a really bad UX, right? I like, can't speak for to KWIN, but a lot of window some... managers have the ability to do window rules as well that can sort of mitigate that problem. Do, do... Right. And we have this on Wayland too. Okay. We can do window rules, but that's also kind of a bad user yeah, experience, yeah. right? Because it's, it's a DIY thing. You have to set up a rule for every app. Yeah. So what Wayland allows you to do theoretically because the compositor is in charge of everything we can have the compositor track the window positions itself and we can have it identify those positions with windows so that every single app window ever gets restored exactly where it was closed universally no matter if the app itself does this and then if you the user decide i want to change the window placement so that like new windows get placed here it only affects new windows mm -hmm. and if you say I want it so that new windows are always placed here. And then we don't restore the previous position. You get to do that. Those aren't things you can do on X11. And we don't have this feature yet on Wayland because it would have to be implemented by KWIN, but we have the ability to do that in the future in a way that we just did not before. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that, that sort of takes us into the, uh, some of the showstoppers like that. Th there's a Wayland protocol being worked on that is making progress, which is, surprising compared to some of the protocol discussions I have seen going on. Um, I think it's like XDG session restore or something. Session. Yep. Uh, is that it? Yeah. So there's no session restore at the moment. Um, and that session is something map. that's definitely going to need a new protocol. And then every app in the universe is going to need to opt into it. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> progress is only being made. A Progress is being made, but so here's another interesting thing, getting on the subject of, you know, it lets us do things ourselves. Um, we can implement a sort of fake session restore. Yep. And so we can simply say, okay, well, when you're shutting down the computer, you had these five apps open. Mm -hmm. Remember that when you turn the computer back on, launch those five apps. Like that gets you about 80 or 90% of the way there. Mm -hmm. And if we eventually implement the ability to remember what virtual desktop they were on and remember what position on the screen they were on, you basically have session restore, but simply letting the apps take care of the state themselves. Mm -hmm. And these days, my impression is that most apps that have state worth saving kind of do save their own state. Like some don't, right? Um, but a lot of them do. And I think that's probably going to be a good stopgap until we get real session restore. And then after we get real session restore, it's still going to be useful because not every app is going to opt into real session restore. I mean, they didn't on X11, right? Like people talk about how great we, you know, session restore was on X11. Session restore on X11 was terrible. LibreOffice didn't opt into it. Half the random apps that used different toolkits that weren't GTK and Qt didn't opt into it. Like it was super duper inconsistent and never worked properly on X11. So yeah, we don't have it on Wayland, but like eventually we'll have something even better. Mm -hmm. Well, that sort of reminds me of the KDE approach to dealing with global hotkeys, where there is a portal that exists, but then there's... How does it work on, on KDE? Because you've got the ability to, like, pass in keys to X Wayland applications. Mm -hmm. That's as much as I've looked into it. I'm not sure on the rest of the details. Yeah, so we have a couple of different things. Um, 
On Wayland, of course, the compositor itself has the ability to handle global shortcuts. So if you were a KDE app, you can talk to the compositor, set your global shortcuts. But if you're not a KDE app, then you probably don't want to link against KWAN, right? Yeah. So that's where this global shortcuts portal comes in. And that lets Wayland native apps set shortcuts in a sort of standardized way. But then there's those are like two pieces of the puzzle, but then, then there's still the third piece, which is X Wayland apps. And X Wayland apps are, I think, what you're talking about, mm -hmm. where if you have an X Wayland app like Discord, for example, um, this is the classic example of Discord runs in X Wayland. You want to set up push to talk in Discord, and you want it to work when Discord is not the frontmost app because you're probably gaming in a different app that is not Discord. And so that doesn't work because Discord wants to be able to sniff the X11 set of keys. So we have this thing that allows you to determine how many of the keys X Wayland apps are allowed to snoop. Mm -hmm. So if you don't use Discord, then you just don't turn it on, right? But if you do use Discord, you can opt into one of the snooping modes. So you can say, allow X Wayland apps to listen for like modifier keys, for example. So if I set, you know, left shift mm -hmm. as my push to talk key, or if I set like F25 as my push to talk key, then we can allow X Wayland apps to listen for just those key presses and we've still, in principle, preserved the security against key logging because we're not sending across every keystroke that you type, only the ones that can't be used to type a password, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say you don't care, right? You know, you think that the security thing is overrated, you're in a trustworthy environment, you can let X Wayland apps snoop on all the keys if you really feel like it, that's totally fine, we let you do that. So the idea there is to make it possible for these apps that are not Wayland native to still work in some capacity mm -hmm. until they get support for all the stuff that we've written for them. That's one of the things I really like about the KDE approach where you will bring in a solution that may not be the most optimal approach, <laughs> but it's better than having zero solution whatsoever. Like, yeah, like you, I, I totally get how much it sucks to be told, well, something perfect is coming in the future. Just yeah. wait five years, right? Yeah. Like the, everybody hates this. Nobody likes this. Um, and at least if we can ship something that's like maybe 80% good in the meantime, that can act as a bit of a pressure valve. It shows people that we care, that we're taking them seriously, you know, because mm -hmm. people use this stuff for real work, right? Like this isn't a science experiment. Mm -hmm. We're actually making a desktop for people to do things with. Mm-hmm.